Hi students, welcome back. So in this video, I am going to explain about the types of streams. So there are generally two types of streams are there. One is a byte stream and another is the character stream. Okay. So then what is the use of the byte stream and what is the use of the character stream? Let's see. Byte streams handles all types of data. See here. It is going to be handled all types of data. What is that all types of data? For example, text. Text is consisting of like uh, letters, right? Image, .jpg. Graphics, animations, audio, video. So, each one is of different type of data, right or wrong? So, these all types of data is going to be handled by the byte streams. Then, what about the character stream? Character streams means it handles only text. Remember, character means handles only the text. So, if you want to work on different uh, types of data, then better we use the byte stream. So, characters, if you want to work on only on the characters, then go with the character stream. Okay. So, these are the two different types of streams that are present that are, we are using in the Java programming language. Okay. So, let's see the hierarchies of the byte streams and the character streams. So, the hierarchy of the byte stream is whatever the object is there that taken that object can be an input stream or an output stream suppose if you are taking as an input stream means you are inputting the file file input stream you are reading the data from the file so for that you require the input stream again divided into file input stream filter input stream and object input stream file input stream filter input stream object input stream then output stream means same file output stream, filter output stream, object output stream. So this filter input stream is again divided, uh, converted into data input stream. And file output stream, data output stream and the print stream. Because we are displaying the data. Okay. So output. So data output stream is required and the pin, print stream is required. The one point that you have to remember here is the data input stream whatever the data input stream and data output stream these two classes these are all the classes student see here this whatever i had written here the starting letter of every word is a capital letter so these are all the classes the data input stream and the data output stream classes supports these two are going to supports all primitive data types and strings these two are going to support all the primitive data types and the strings suppose if you consider this object input stream and the object output stream object input stream and the object output stream these classes supports only objects supports objects these two classes object input stream object output stream supports objects and data input stream and data output stream supports all primitive data types and strings okay so now let's see the hierarchy of the character string the byte string you had seen right now let's see the hierarchy of the character string stream class so object so the class may be the reader class or the writer class if you consider the reader a buffered reader input stream reader and writer same buffered writer and the print writer because output we are going to print right so buffered writer print writer and the output stream writer buffered reader input stream reader buffered writer output stream writer and the print writer so the file input stream reader is having a subclass like file reader this is file reader subclass input stream is a super class okay and here also this is a subclass file writer and the super class is the output stream reader so this is the hierarchy of the character stream class so remember while you are working on the file read means this is a subclass and this is a super class subclass super class okay so this is about the hierarchies of the character streams and the byte stream so in the next video i'll explain a program relating this to the character stream and the byte stream thank you